Welcome to Drill Down Earnings. We have second quarter results from an NVIDIA, the thing everyone's been waiting for. So exciting. This is the most important number we've seen in months. Let's get right to it. The business story behind one stock on the move. I'm Chief Market Strategist Corey Johnson. NVIDIA earnings, so very important. Uh, the second largest company in the world, uh, but in terms of market cap and the driver of AI, it's been putting up fantastic results. How were these results? They were really good. Q2 earnings. Uh, it beat Wall Street estimates. Wall Street wanted 28.7 billion. It got 30 in revenues. It wanted 64 cents in earnings. It got 67. But those are just numbers. Let's dig into something that really tells us about this business. So for the second quarter, yeah, a 15% rise in revenue on a sequential basis, up 122% from last year. And that tells you a lot of the story right there, right? Because you've got incredible growth at incredible size and yet not growing as fast as it has grown the last, I don't know, look at the chart, uh, last quarter, the quarter before that, the quarter before that, all had even higher growth percentages but this is a record quarter of $30.04 billion in revenues and very profitable, unheard of profitability, down to 62%, but that's the operating margins, but that's incredible at this scale. This is just a cash generating machine, this business. And when you think about the history of semiconductors, we've never seen anything like this. Uh, you know, Intel was once the dominant company in semiconductors and yes, Intel's fallen on tough times, but a 62% operating uh, percent margin, a 62% margin in the quarter. Intel had a negative 15% operating margin in the quarter. So uh, it's just it just shows you how we've never really seen anything like what we're seeing right now from NVIDIA. And that's because data centers are the story. Data centers have taken over this business that was once gaming for whatever NVIDIA was, regardless of how big it is. But then when you look at the size of the data center domination, it has completely taken over this business. I would even argue it's, in, it's taken over all of technology, the sale of these chips. And you can see it in these results. Yeah, they're selling to professional visualization, gaming data center, uh, as I mentioned, you know, auto and OEMs, but the data center business, just so big, it's really amazing. And yeah, back to that video game business, it wasn't terrible, but growing at only 10% uh, or 10% as a percentage of revenues for this business when it was once, you know, the whole shooting match. So um, how did the stock do? The stock was actually down 7% because the guidance, well, it was better than Wall Street's numbers. It wasn't uh, astoundingly better as we've gotten used to the last couple quarters for NVIDIA. So the stock down 7% in after hours trading, although it's up 168% in the last year. So what are you complaining about? Um, and I also wanna uh, take a quick look, uh, mention of China, but first let's hear from CEO Jensen Wang, who talked to us uh, about really the importance of Blackwell. Now Blackwell is the next chip that they have coming out. And the pressure on gross margins was probably because the Blackwell chip had some issues. They had to, they, they shipped it some test uh, samples to customers. They decided they had to redesign it, remask it, which means they had to actually change the way it was etched into the uh, semiconductor wafers, which has to happen actually at the production, largely at Taiwan Semiconductor. And the result of that was it was a little more expensive, maybe a lot more expensive, and, and took a little bit longer than they thought it was going to. But nonetheless, they look at, at what's happening with Blackwell and how in the fourth quarter it's going to start shipping uh, and in size that, you know, that this is really a game changer from anything we've ever seen before in computing or so says its chief salesperson, Jensen Wong. Blackwell is a step function leap over Hopper. Blackwell is an AI infrastructure platform, not just a GPU. Also happens to be in the name of our GPU, but it's an AI infrastructure platform as we reveal more of Blackwell and sample systems to our partners and customers, the extent of Blackwell's leap becomes clear. The Blackwell vision took nearly five years and seven one-of-a-kind chips to realize. The gray CPU, the Blackwell dual GPU in a co-op package, ConnectX DPU for east-west traffic, blue field DPU for north-south north, north and storage traffic, MVLink switch, for all-to-all -all GPU communications, and Quantum and Spectrum X for both InfiniBand and Inf Ethernet can support the massive burst traffic of AI. Blackwell AI factories are building size computers. NVIDIA designed and optimized the Blackwell platform full stack, end-to-end, -end, from chips, systems, networking, even structured cables, power and cooling, and mounds of software to make it fast for customers 
to build AI factories. So fantastic things from Blackwell. I want to take a minute to talk about China because there is so much uh, concern about China's ability to use AI for uh, good things and bad things. Uh, the U.S. government and Europe, the European Union got involved at the end of last year and, and added extra import controls about NVIDIA chips, preventing NVIDIA from selling their, their very best chips into China. And uh, in terms of, of data in their 10Q filing, which NVIDIA commendably files at the same moment that they actually report results, they didn't give us as much data as they have in previous quarters about exactly what the revenues for data center in China was. They said that it was uh, that it grew sequentially in the second quarter and that it's a significant contributor to data center revenue for the company. But they didn't give us an actual percentage. They said it remains below the level seen before the export controls. But look, uh, in terms of its overall relevance, it's, it's still a, a fraction of NVIDIA's business. But the business is increasing as much as what they told us. My estimates of 1.2 billion, it could be more, it certainly isn't less. That's a big number, number one. And it shows 34% growth on a year-over-year -year basis of selling into China. Now, that includes lots of stuff they told us in the call. That includes automotive. It includes um, uh, other things that they sell, not just into the data center, uh, gaming in, in, in particular. But uh, it is disconcerting that they've created chips that they just to sell into China. And if you're worried about China having access to the best and, and greatest chips out there, they don't, but they're getting something close to it. And they're spending a lot of money in China to get anything NVIDIA will sell them. Like I said, at least $1.2 billion in a quarter, perhaps more. But what does this all mean? What's your big drill down earnings takeaway? I'm gonna give you one number that tells you everything you need to know about this quarter for NVIDIA right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. So NVIDIA's second quarter earnings, I've got a full report on YouTube, yes, but this quick earnings summary is really the main things you wanna know. A really good quarter of $30 billion. Uh, data center revenue drove the whole, the whole shebang at $26.3 billion. But the drill down earnings bite, the one number that tells us a whole lot is 122%. That is the increase in revenues. It tells you everything. It's less than the growth rate it's been in the past, and it's still freaking amazing. All right, this is Drill Down Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. And check me out on X at Corey TV and Drill Down Pod on Instagram and TikTok.